Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Weekend Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Center and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. The Colts, a husband and wife duo from Hughesville, will compete in the National Hot Rod Association's Pro Stock Motorcycle and will travel to Gainesville, Florida later next week where Kelly Colts will captain the Steam Fitters UA Local 602 Suzuki. The couple started racing locally until 2015 when an opportunity of a lifetime came up and they were invited to the Star Racing Riders Challenge for the opportunity to compete in the NHRA. In 2017, they got the chance and competed in the NHRA. They've now been competing full time for the past five years. Her husband, Chris, serves as the crew chief and only other permanent employee on their team. Best of luck to Kelly and Chris. While many kids would simply start a lemonade stand or babysit to try and make some money, in October 2017, three Indian head siblings took starting a business, literally. The brothers Ryan, Colin, and Austin Gill started Ferez Bronquieu, a home fragrance company that has earned its place as the first youth-led company to be featured in Target's 2022 Black History Month campaign. From a small warehouse in White Plains, the brothers make candles, room sprays, diffusers, and other home fragrance products. Their line is over 30 cents and boasts multiple lines including a line of astrology candles, which features candles that matches your birth month, your mood, your mysticism, and your mantra, according to their website. Target is carrying their line of products in a multitude of their stores up until March 13th, so get them quick. Commissioners approved $6.1 million of an additional $7 million plan for the school system funding by a majority vote. Public School Superintendent Scott Smith addressed the board about the school system proposed 2023 budget of $254.8 million, which is funded by state and local dollars. This is the second year of a three-year negotiated agreement, which provide, provided $5.3 million in funding that resulted in school staff receiving a 45 to 5% pay increase, which was unanimous, unanimously agreed on by the commissioners. The commissioners also agreed to split $1.5 million for bus drivers and school transportation with the rest of the $700,000 in funds for bus drivers pay and benefit raises. In a meeting with St. Mary's County Metropolitan Commission on February 24th, Potomac Riverkeeper Dean Nozix addressed that there were 35 sewage spills in a four-year period from January 2017 to December 2020. Nozix requested that at least an apology for a spill that happened through October 28th to the 29th in 2021 from the St. George Island pump station in the Potomac River, which inflicted damage to wildlife. Over 20 people became ill from eating oysters contaminated by the 25,000 gallon spill, Nozick said. He claimed that the Maryland Department of the Environment dropped the ball. Now turning to sports. St. Mary's athletes are taking the field this spring. Both Great Mills and Leonardtown's new turf has been set for spring sports with Choptacon's new turf soon to come. Students at Great Mills and Leonardtown stated, it feels great being able to walk across the new field and we're looking forward to playing. And now we get to have games on a whole new. Once Choptacon's field is completed later this month, all St. Mary's County schools will have turf. So keep an eye out for the upcoming games this year. The University of Maryland held the 4A, 3A Swimming State Championship on Saturday. Walter Johnson High School girls team sealed the state championship with 305 points, while Winston Churchill boys team won states with 340.5 points. Leonardtown girls swim team had the best overall performance for SMAC teams as freshman Madeline Chen and Lawrence and senior Lauren McCloskey led the way for the Raiders. Chen had the best performance by a smack swimmer, placing fifth in the free finishing with a time of 23.91. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit somdnews.com. I'm Caleb. And I'm Trent. Signing off.